Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And this week's video, what I wanna do is to run through with you, how can you calculate uh, and create a multi-row formula in Tableau Prep? Um, so if you're like, what are we talking about multi-row formula? Um, a few different ways to think about that. If you come from the world of SQL, you probably know about leg and lead functions, which lets you uh, reference you know, prior or future rows of data. Um, if you come from the world of Alteryx, you might know about the multi-row formula tool. And even if you come from the world of Excel, you probably have done multi-row formulas, even if you didn't give them that name. So let me show you the data source we're gonna be working with. Um, this is actually inspired by a real world client that I worked with. Uh, this is a company that did print managed services. Um, so basically, if you have 100 printers and you don't wanna deal with replacing the ink and the paper and fixing them when they're broken, you hire it out to this kind of company, right? So the way their data worked is that in their database, this is a very simplified rendition, of course, but they would have you know like one row of data per month per device, and then there would just be like in what they would call an end meter reading. Um, and so what a meter reading does is it tells you you know this is how many prints that this printer has done over the course of its life, right? So in this case, um, like EN one hundred, the first month that it came into existence, it did seventy six hundred prints supposedly, right? And then the next month it had done 8,500. So that means that the difference between those is actually how many prints that it did, you know, in that prior month. So if we said something like, uh, what is C3 minus C2 in Excel, that would get us the number that we're looking for, right? So could we do something like that for each of these different uh, printers, right? So we'd want like a, a, you know, a restart or kind of a unique count for each of them. So I was kind of tackling this recently and there's not really a perfect way to do this in Tableau Desktop or Tableau Prep, right? In Tableau Desktop, you have the lookup function, which is pretty good, but it doesn't actually create an entirely new column of data, which kind of has its own complications. Um, in Tableau Prep, there's like a rank field and a sort field, but there's not really like a look up the prior value field. Um, so I was recently posting this, uh, I was talking about it on, on LinkedIn actually. And so I have a couple of folks uh, in Egypt to thank. So um, this would be uh, Mohammed and Abdelaziz. Thank you both for uh, chiming in and, and helping to inspire this idea, right? Um, so how, how could we basically do this same thing that we just did here easily in Excel? How can we do that in Tableau Prep? Okay, um, so let's dive in. I've already connected to my data source here in Tableau Prep to save us all a minute. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a clean step to this just so we can get a better look at our data. All right, so just sort of three simple columns. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a join step after this clean step, okay? Um, and then I'm actually gonna do kind of a spit off uh, branch from clean one. I'm gonna add a different clean step that'll sort of branch out to the side. And what I'm gonna do in this clean step, a um, couple of different things. First is uh, I'm gonna create a calculated field to add one month to each of these dates, okay? And so what this is eventually gonna allow me to do is to take my tables, to shift one of them by a month, and then join those values together so that I could have the current month value and the prior month value side by side in two different columns, but on the same row, so I could just easily write a calculated field in Tableau Prep to find the difference, okay? So we're fortunate in this case that it's just very clean. You know, the volume date is just listed as the first of each month. Uh, I'll come back to that. You know, your situation might be more complex. Maybe it's not months, it's days. Maybe it's kind of less uh, reliable than that. So we'll, we'll tackle that eventually, okay? So uh, first up, create a calculated field and I'll just call this uh, volume date plus one month. So I'm gonna say date add month one to my volume date field, okay? And then I just need to make sure that this is a date, not date and time field. So Tableau doesn't get mad about when I try and join this later, okay? And then this, what's currently called volume, just to avoid any confusion with the join, I'm gonna call this uh, prior month volume, okay? So now I can actually remove volume date because this is just sort of a, a branch. Um, so I'll call this, I'll just call this clean like prior month and I'll call this one current month. Uh, just so again, this is for our or own organization. 
So I'll take prior month and I'm gonna add this to the join that I added after current month. And let's go into our join clause and see if we can sort this out. Um, so there's gonna be two steps to this. First of all, I need them, uh, you know, each device should only join to a row of data related to that device. And the volume date needs to equal the volume date plus one month, okay? So there's a few rows of data which didn't find a match. Um, that makes sense, right? The very first month, January 1st, there was no December 1st to compare against. And then I think vice versa at the end, like I think it ends in August, so then there's no September to compare against. So for now, I'm just gonna do, um, let me think about this. I think just a left join. So I don't need these rows of data. These are like for September 1st, 2017. So that's just taking the August value and pushing it forward a month but we don't actually have any September data yet, so that's not really applicable. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a clean step after this join one and see what's going on. Um, okay, so we are, we're looking pretty good here. Um, so we've got our volume date and then our volume date plus one month. This plus one month, this was just for the sake of the join, so I can go ahead and remove this. Device ID one, that's from the prior month branch, so I'm gonna go ahead and Remove that. So now I, it's probably be easiest to look at uh, in the table at the bottom here. Let's just use this first one. So EN 100 on February 1st, 2017, the volume at that point was 8525. The prior month volume was 7680. Is that true? Yeah, that looks to be true, right? So EN 100, uh, February 1st, 8525, prior month 7680. So we're real close now, we've got a couple more calculations to go. Um, just a quick shout out, quick uh, plug here. So if you check out this info button in this top corner here uh, in YouTube, uh, there's a link to some of our upcoming Tableau classes. We're running classes all of the time. We have a Tableau prep class, so relatable for this. Uh, we have multiple Tableau calculations class. We have introductory and intermediate Tableau desktop classes. So if you or a colleague or a friend is this sort of looking to advance your skills and you wanna do a deep dive for eight or 16 hours and join us, um, we would love to have you. You're also welcome to just uh, let us know if you have any questions. Um, also in the description down below, you can find a link to that. So um, cool, so let's wrap up what we're doing here in Tableau prep. So now I need to calculate the difference between the current month volume and the prior month volume. Okay, most of the time there's just sort of a volume and then a prior month volume side by side. Uh, the only exception to that would be the very first month, like the January value doesn't have a prior month volume, which is okay. Um, so what we need to do here is to, where's my create a calculated field? Uh, all right, Tabla, you weirdo. We'll just do this. I'll go to one of these fields, volume, and I'll say create calculated field, create custom calculation. So this will be um, volume, you know, difference from last month. Okay, and then this will be important. I need to wrap these in the ZN function. So I'm gonna do ZN volume minus ZN volume, uh, do, 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 prior month volume. Oh, that, the name of that thing got messed up, that was my bad. Um, okay, so I'll say save, and then what I should see now Let's just move these fields around so they're in a little bit better order. Okay, so the difference between 8525 and 7680 is 845. Is that true? Yep, that's the same thing that we're getting in Excel, right? So the beauty, oh, let me get back to that. So the beauty of all of this now is that I could easily, you know, let's say take this to, um, export this to Tableau Desktop, and then, you know, now I could just very easily see like what was the total volume that each of these did over the course of that year, okay? So let me do this, I'll, I'll preview in Tableau Desktop, we'll get this thing launched. It's creating this little one-off extract for the sake of our exploration. And so let's say I put device ID on rows and then um, I don't just want the actual month volume, I want the volume difference from last month. And so now I can see, you know, EN100 by far um, did the most prints in this period at 45,000. And then if I want to hone in on a specific month, right? Maybe I say, ah, I want to focus on, uh, you know, a month year and see who did the most in that last month in August. Oh, wow, you know, BZ101 really picked up steam and actually it did more than EN101 in that month. So um, this is just a little bit of a background into one method for creating a multi-row formula um, in Tableau Prep. Again, sort of replicating the functionality of something like leg or lead uh, in SQL. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, 
I, you know, I, I, I went through a couple iterations in making this video. What I really wanted to do early on was to be able to create, use a rank function in Tableau. So in the create calculated fields, use a rank to rank the date within each device and say, okay, this is, this month is ranked one and this month is ranked two. So let's do some math and get those lined up. Uh, joining on the rank didn't work very well in Tableau prep. I don't know. Tableau prep's weird about that whole rank functionality. It's cool, but it's uh, very finicky. Uh, so I guess another option that might be worth considering, especially if you're on Tableau Prep 2023.1 or presumably later, um, there is an ability to uh, utilize a field called source row number. So if you get your data source in the exact order that you want, I think there probably would be the ability to say, hey, this is row 20, compare this to row 19. Um, I haven't experimented with that, but that might just be sort of a nice um, alternative to think about. You know, in this case, I just had a really nice clean, hey, there's just one row of data per month, but I, I get it that yours might not be quite that clean. So if you are working through this, you have questions about this, please let me know. Um, hit us up in the comments. Would love to help you um, be able to answer some of those. And we really appreciate you checking out the channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe. We drop new videos about Tableau every week, and uh, we hope to catch you again soon. Thanks.